Dr. Ali, thank you very much for your time today. I know you're a very, very busy person. We appreciate it. We move now from what's happening in the hospitals to what's happening with the organization that supports the hospitals financially. Let's meet now the interim president of the Niagara Health Foundation, Andrea Scott. Andrea, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Mike. I would imagine at this point in time with the virus that with every other foundation, organization that's trying to raise funds, things are very, very challenging. How has it gone since March? Yeah, we've definitely um, had a lot of challenges since March. Um, you know, I think our, our main goal is always to continue to support Niagara Health any way we can. And uh, that meant changing some of our ways that we fundraise and, and, you know, brainstorming new ideas that would work during this pandemic. What are some of the changes that you've made? I know you've got an upcoming gala, but that gala has to be virtual. Can you explain Champagne and Slippers? So our, our gala is virtual. Uh, Champagne and Slippers will take place, <clears throat> excuse me, February 27th. You will be at home. So you will be, uh, you know, purchasing your tickets online where you pick food, your wine, any prize tickets you want to purchase. And then day of, you're gonna be picking up your food, taking it home um, and enjoying the show online. And it'll be the same great you know, program we've always given. It's just gonna be a virtual experience. So, you know, great food, there'll be signature cocktails that you'll have everything to make at home, create rooms within the virtual platform so you can be on with other households and friends and, and have a nice little party from, from home. <laughs> Many galas also come with silent auctions and things like that. Will there be some form of that with this one? Yes, so we will have that as well. It's going to open up uh, two weeks prior to the February 27th gala date. And I have to say the community has been um, you know, very helpful with this. We've got an abundance of items for the silent auction. Uh, I think people will be really excited about them. What are some of the wineries and some of the restaurants that are providing the food and wine? The picks for the restaurants, we have Garrison House in Niagara-on-the-Lake, we have Casamia in Niagara Falls, and Wellington Court in St. Catharines. And then there's a number of wineries that have donated wine. Sorry, I don't have the list with me, but they're all included in the food package. So you get to pick a uh, type of wine when you pick your meal as well. Uh, each restaurant has a few different choices. So uh, there's lots for, for everyone to find a, a great meal on there. You also had a virtual elimination draw, I believe, that started January 29th. We did. We had it this past Friday. So we were at the Croatian National Home in Welland, and that was a, a virtual event again. We, uh, we sold over 320 tickets to that event, which is amazing. Um, you were able to pick up your food uh, from the Croatian National Home prior to and then watch the event online with um, you know, obviously the draw, but then we had uh, prizes as well, a 50-50 draw. Uh, we were, we've raised over $48,000 uh, on Friday for that event um, and still counting. Uh, so a great response, uh, similar to what we've raised in prior years. So we really couldn't ask for more. Well, that's that. fantastic if it's similar to what you raised in prior years. How yeah. does fundraising look for 2021? Have you tempered your your goal for the entire year? So our goal, our goal really hasn't changed too much. Um, I will say we've changed uh, a few things on how we're going to raise those funds. So uh, meeting with people face to face obviously is more difficult. Uh, one thing we, we did try in the fall was a community 50-50 lottery, which was very successful. Um, and we're going to be uh, doing another community lottery March 1st that will start uh, the winner of that in the fall took home $110,000, uh, so definitely much more than we thought it would raise, um, so we're going to continue with that. And that's new due to the pandemic. That just makes it easy for people to go online, purchase their tickets, and uh, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> and do you have an idea of where this year's funds will be directed towards? For the community lottery, they go to the most urgent needs of the hospital. So we work with Niagara Health and we discuss what equipment items they need uh, currently and, and purchase those as they're needed. The gala is going to uh, cardiac care at Niagara Health and the elimination um, draw was for the ophthalmology department at the Welland Hospital site. Andrea, thank you so much. Good luck with Champagne and Slippers. It's February 27th. How can people 
register for this event, look at the menus? So they just go to hospitalgala.com. That's our website. And you can see all the information there, purchase your tickets and uh, plan a wonderful evening with us.